Good evening, Pastor Tom Harris here with my good buddy Josh Harris helping us out, uh, getting ready for our prayer meeting devotional. Thanks for joining us tonight uh, as we get into 3rd John. Don't ask the chapter, because we know 3rd John's only got one chapter. But uh, grab your prayer sheet, get your Bible open to 3rd John, and uh, we're going to look tonight at the third example in 3rd John. But before we do that, it's time for me to turn it over to my partner here, Josh. Josh's pause moment. Take it away, my man. Okay. Last week on Josh's pause moment, I asked you, what's your least favorite Bible character? I got a couple. I got Haman, Eve. Eve was the most surprising on this list. Then Judah. Lot. Mm, he's kind of good. Then two over here, Jezebel and Athaliah. Those guys are bad. And then we got... Our first comment, angry gnome for the older brother, older brother from the prodigal son, okay? So it's not like any other older brother. And then for this time, it is, what is your favorite hymn? Mine is holy, 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 because I, I love how it talks about how great and powerful God is. Now I'd like to see what yours is. Hey, thank you so much, Josh. Don't forget, tell you guys can put it on pause. Uh, do us a favor, try and go right down there in the comments, and you can leave a comment for us uh, about your favorite hymn. I think you played Holy, 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 what, in a piano competition? Yeah, and then every and then after that, every hymn sing I asked to play. <laughs> you asked Mr. Boykin to, play, to sing Holy, Holy, Holy. That is good. But uh, let's go ahead and let's jump into 3rd John. Uh, we've been looking at examples in 3rd John. All right, Josh, help me out. I named the guy, give me thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Based on what the Apostle John said about him in 3rd John. Here we go. The first guy we have in 3rd John, his name is Gaius. What do we thumbs got? Thumbs up. That's He's right. really good. We really got good. some thumbs up on Gaius. He was a great example. He loved the brethren. He took care of traveling preachers there in the city, and he had joy of fellowship, fellowshipping with the brethren. Now, mm -hmm. the next guy we come to is a guy named Diatrophes. What about him? Them, you got to get, get oh, him up where everybody can see him, though. Oh. But, uh, yeah, definitely two thumbs down on Diatrophes. Why? What was his problem? He loved power. He loved power. He loved power. He wanted to have the preeminence in the church. He wanted to be the dictator, and uh, he even prevented who? John. He prevented the Apostle John from coming to the church, and he punished anyone that fellowship with the church, even went so far as kicking them out of the church. But uh, the third example that we have here in the book of 3 John, we find in verses 11 and 12. And verse 11 really is just a reminder to us. Verse 11 says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. I think this verse is a great reminder to the church because they're looking at Diatrophes. Diatrophes is telling them, I am a great person, I am a wonderful man, and yet he's bringing anger and hatred and, and judgment into the church. Wrong judgment, false judgment that's not in line with God's word. And John writes to him and said, hey, listen, if someone's doing good, that's from God. But if someone's doing evil, that's not from God. And then John very quickly turns the focus in the church to another man. We see him in verse 12. His name is Demetrius. Verse 12 says, Demetrius hath good report of all men and of the truth itself. Yea, we also bear record. And ye know that our record is true. So John is saying, hey, hold on. We got this guy Demetrius. Why don't you follow his example? Now, Question for you out there, and if you want to leave a comment about this, go right ahead. But is it okay to follow an earthly example? Is it okay to follow someone's example while they're still alive? What do you think, Josh? Yeah, it just depends on what their example is. Boom, you got it, okay? Philippians uh, chapter 3, verse 17, Paul tells us, Brethren, be followers together of me, and... Mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. 1 Corinthians 11.1, 1, Paul tells something else. He says, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. It is okay to follow someone living on this earth, follow their example, as long as they are following Christ. 
If they're not following Christ, guess what? It is not okay for us to follow their example. But John writes to the church, he says, hey, we got this great guy, Demetrius. You can follow his example. Why? Well, the first thing is Demetrius had a good report of everyone. You know, uh, it, and this guy, he nobody could say anything bad about him. That's one of the important things about being a Christian is maintaining your testimony. Uh, I've heard a lot of believers that I love and I've talked to and they said hey you know during this coronavirus one of the biggest things we try to do is maintain our testimony make sure that we have a right testimony in front of our neighbors in front of God in front of all of those that are around us but Demetrius he was loved by all men but you have to be very 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 careful okay because there are many people that they just want to be loved by men and they'll do anything for people to like them. In fact, that's a big pressure on kids your age, right? Is I just want to be liked. I'm going to do whatever people want me to do so that I can be liked. Demetrius, though, added something to it. And we see that also in verse 12. Because John writes that Demetrius hath a good report of all men and of the truth itself. Okay? Diatrophes tried to make himself the truth. He lined his life up with the truth. He studied the truth. Now, here's a question for you. What is the truth? The truth is the God is love. Okay, is that's one of, them. one of the things. But remember, we just got done studying 2 John. And in 2 John, John writes to the elect lady saying, follow truth, the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ as God's son, come down in the flesh, who was buried, died for us, and rose again. And Demetrius, he is following that truth. He's an example of that truth. And Demetrius had a good report of the truth. What Demetrius taught, what Demetrius said, everything that he did lined up with the truth of God's word. And 2 John talks about loving in the truth. Not just loving blindly, but loving according to God's word by following God's command. Demetrius also had a good report from John. You can see that um, down at the end of verse 12. It says, uh, <clears throat> um, we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I, I can just imagine there's definitely some sort of difficulties, problems going on in the church. And so John is writing and says, listen, I've met with Demetrius. I know Demetrius. He is a good, has a good report. And, you know, I'm sure diatrophies. The dictator in the church, he's telling everybody, hey, don't listen to Demetrius. Demetrius is talking to John. He's talking to other people. He doesn't love you. He doesn't care. And John writes back to the church saying, listen, I talked to Demetrius. I know where he stands. He has a good report from me. And um, he got a good report from John. And John was saying to the people, listen, Diatrophes, he wants to have preeminence in the church. He wants to be built up. But you know what? You need to follow this guy. Uh, Demetrius instead because he is the one that is following after the truth now John closes out the book in verses 13 14 he says um, I had many things to write but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee but I trust I shall shortly see thee and we shall speak face to face peace be to you our friends salute thee greet the friends by name you know what um, what is he saying here you know John is a born teacher. Verse 13, he says, I got lots and lots of other things, but I'm not going to write them down because I want to see you face to face. I want to communicate with you. And uh, John wanted to come. And uh, just think about this for a second, Josh. John comes to this church. Who's going to be happy that he came? Demetrius and Gaius. Absolutely. Gaius. Who's going to be sad that he came? It's going to be Diatrophes. Yeah, that's right. Diatrophes is saying, I don't want John here. Because John's going to say, hey, I met Jesus Christ. I know what he was like. Here's what he was like. And Diatrophes is going to be in serious trouble, right? He was mm -hmm. going to be scared. But really, as we close this book, close our study of Third John, let me ask you this question. What about you? Are you an example to our brothers and sisters, to your fellow believers? Um, Gaius was an example of hospitality. He cared for people. He took care of them. He brought them into the church. Uh, Demetrius was an example of the truth. He studied God's word. He lived by God's word. And we really, uh, I would encourage you, look at these three examples and ask yourself that question, are you an example? And if not, take some time to change be, and be the right example you need to be. Um, as we close tonight, uh, let me encourage you to take a look at our prayer sheet. It's interesting. We talk about these uh, believers meeting together. 
Um, as a church, we want to meet together as a congregation. Uh, we've kind of set a goal. I've set a goal the first Sunday in June. We want to get together. So uh, let me encourage you to pray. Um, at, as of this point, when I make this lesson, I don't know where we're going to meet together yet. We've got a couple of options that we're looking at. But uh, pray that God will give us wisdom in knowing which is the right one for us to be at. Also, um, let me encourage you to just look at that prayer sheet. There are people that are hurting uh, that we need to pray for tonight. So uh, check out the sheet. Look at what it says about praying for the hurting. And then uh, take some time tonight to pray for the hurting. Once again, thanks for being here. Don't forget, uh, you're telling Josh what is your favorite hymn. His is Holy Holy. Mine's Amazing Grace. Uh, but you can go ahead and leave a comment below or uh, send me a text or an email. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll see you soon in person.